Hey, I'm NC513, and uh, here's a sneak peek at a fascinating work in progress by SLC, who is known as, for example, the wizard behind Tapex, which is a brilliant piece of software that you can use for analyzing and uh, tidying up .tap tape image files, etc. Right, so our test file will be the game Arkanoid, cracked and eczemized by Statmat. We've already prepared a .tap tape image file using a program SLC has written in uh, C Sharp. So we'll start by writing this tape image to a good old cassette tape by using the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus cartridge with its tape adapter. There's nothing special about this C64. It just happens to have a few screws loose, just like z Uh, never mind. What I meant to say is that inside my bedbin case is a completely unmodified 250469 model motherboard. And now we'll just wait for maybe 10 more seconds. It's done, so let's rewind to where we started, and then I'll remove all extra stuff from the computer so that we're left with a more basic, traditional setup. When I'm done rearranging, there will be nothing else connected to the C64 except the dataset and two joysticks. And the power supply, of course. I guess it could be worthwhile to mention that while uh, recording a tape using extreme bit rates like this, you of course need to use a device with accurate timings for streaming the pulse data to the dataset. And the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus seems to do a very good job. Alright, I'll hit shift and run stop and off we go! The file size is about 27.3 kilobytes, and when the screen starts flashing, it means the C64 has started turbo loading those 28,005 bytes into RAM. So let's see how long that phase will take, or uh, if the game will load at all. At the point where the C64 hopefully will show a black screen for about a second, we know that the loading process has finished and the dataset has stopped. It's executing, it's decompressing the eczemized data. And... Well, that's, that's an amazing new world record, almost guaranteed. This is the highest bitrate ever achieved when recording and reading back heavily compressed data with a Commodore dataset. As you can see, I'm jumping up and down with excitement. This is so amazing. SLC's estimation of the bitrate achieved here is uh, 13,415 bits per second, which is, in my opinion, actually a quite modest claim, as I believe it shows not to deduct uh, the turbo synchronization phase from the total turbo duration. Note that I say modest, even though it's over three and a half times faster than Turbo 250, ABC Turbo or Turbo 3. You could in fact argue that the actual bitrate was even higher if we choose to uh, exclude the synchronization phase and uh, then use, for example, Luigi's excellent DC2N5 LC tape dumping device for measuring the total duration of the turbo part exactly corresponding to the 28,005 bytes we needed to load. After we set this new world record, I dumped this very same recording to a .dmp file that I then converted to a .tap. And then I just made the following calculations. 
as you can see, I arrived at the number 13,727 bits per second. And uh, regardless of which calculation method you prefer, this is most probably a new world record, by far. As a final note, I could mention that this same experiment failed miserably on my Black 1531 dataset. I'm not quite sure why, but it might have to do with the circuit design and the components Commodore used for that model. SLC and I have been testing a bunch of different strategies during the last couple of weeks, and for this experiment we made sure the .tap file and the recording dataset were a really good match. That's all. Bye.